Hello and welcome. In this occasion, I would like to share with you some interesting information related to Meme War. Let's start. I came across this article titled Why the US government spent millions trying to weaponize memes. In July 14, 2011, the US Department of Defense put out a press release that went widely unnoticed. DARPA was forming a new initiative, the Social Media in Strategic Communications. At the time, it must have seemed a bit laughable. Instagram had just 5 million users. The idea of social media influencers wasn't there yet. Your parents weren't on Facebook yet. And memes still looked like this. It was into this primordial memetic environment that the SMISC let out its four objectives. Detect, classify, measure and track deformation and spread of memes. Recognize persuasion campaigns. Identify participants in intent and counter-messaging. Dr. Robert Finkelstein worked on the military memetics program, the predecessor of the SMISC. He gave a presentation at the Social Media for Defense Summit a few years back. It's 155 slides on memes and military applications therein. A meme is information which propagates, has impact and persists. Memetics is the study and application of memes. Military memetics is the application of memes for national security. It is a subset of neurocognitive warfare, a revolutionary tool in the information war. It can provide a coherent scientific approach for information operations, psychological warfare and the general war against terrorists and the population. The mean definition for military memetics is information which propagates, has impact and persists, where metrics can be defined and evaluated. Memes can be described by their external phenomena, e-memes, and internal phenomena, i-memes. E-memes are manifested by their effects on human behavior and culture. I-memes are manifested by their effects on an individual's neuronal behavior and brain. E-memes and I-memes are not two types of memes, but rather two effects or manifestations of memes. E-memes can be studied via their simulated or actual propagation over social networks. I means can be studied using tools and techniques such as the following. As a matter of fact, Dr. Robert Finkelstein proposed creating an entity called the Meme Control Center as a framework for meme war. Let's say, let's get crazy in the coming years. I mean, in years it's going to be gigantic um, because we'll increase the number of electrodes dramatically. Um, we'll improve the signal processing. So, you know, we, with, with, uh, even with only roughly, I don't know, 10, 15% of the electrodes working with, uh, with Nolan, with our first patient, we were able to get to achieve a bit per second. That's twice the world record. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll, we'll start, we'll start like vastly exceeding the world record by orders of magnitude in the years to come. So it's like getting to, I don't know, hundred bits per second, thousand, you know, maybe, Maybe if you say like five years from now, we might be at a megabit. Like faster than any human could possibly communicate uh, by typing or speaking. 
Yeah, that BPS is an interesting metric to measure. There might be a big leap in the experience once you reach a certain level of BPS. Yeah. Like entire new ways of interacting with the computer might be unlocked. And with humans. With other humans. Provided they have <laughs> they want a neural link too. Right. Do you, Otherwise they won't be able to absorb the signals fast enough. Do you think they'll improve the quality of intellectual discourse? Well, I think you can you could think of it, you know, if if you were to slow down communication, how how do you feel about that? You know, if you'd only talk at let's say one tenth of normal speed, you'd be like, Wow, that's agonizingly slow. Yeah. Uh so now imagine you could speak at communicate clearly um at 10 or 100 or 1000 times faster than normal listen uh i'm pretty sure nobody in their right mind listens to me at 1x they listen at 2x <laughs> so I can, I can only imagine what 10x would ex feel like or i could actually understand it i usually default to 1.5x um you can do 2x but i well actually if i'm trying to go, if if i'm listening to somebody get to in like sort of 15, 20 minute segments to go to sleep, then I'll do it 1.5x. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm paying attention, I'll do 2x. <laughs> right. Um, but, but actually, if you start, actually listen to podcasts or or sort of audiobooks or anything at, if you get used to doing it at 1.5, then, then one sounds painfully slow. I'm still holding on to one because I'm afraid. I'm afraid of myself becoming bored with the reality, with the real world where everyone's speaking in 1x. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on the person. You can speak very fast. Like we can we yeah. communicate very quickly. And also, if you use a wide range of, if your, if your vocabulary is, is larger, your uh, bit rate, effective bit rate is higher. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Yeah. The effective bit rate. I mean, that is the question is how much information is actually compressed in the low bit transfer of language. Yeah, if, if you if there's if, if there's a single word that is able to convey something that would normally require um, I don't know ten simple words, then you've you've got a you know maybe a ten x compression on your hands, and that's really like with memes. Memes are like data data compression. Um, it, it conveys a whole. Uh, there's, you're simultaneous, simultaneously hit with a wide range of symbols that you can interpret, um, and it's you you, you kind of get it. Mm -hmm. um, faster than if it were words or or a simple picture. And of course, you're referring to memes broadly like ideas. Yeah, there's, there's a an entire idea structure that is like a an idea template. And then you can add something to that idea template. Uh, but somebody has that pre-existing idea template in their head. Um, so when you add that incremental bit of information, you're conveying uh, much more than if you just you know, said a few words. You, it's everything associated with that meme. You think there'll be emergent leaps of capability as you scale the number of electrodes? Like yeah. there'll be a certain, do you think there'll be like actual number where it just, the, the human experience will be altered? Yes. 